In this video, I'm going to be unboxing my very first 10 ounce silver coin. So let's get it out of the initial packaging. So inside the shipping packaging, we have a bubble wrap bag as well. And then inside of that, we have the coin inside of the protective box as well. I'm not sure if this actually comes in a capsule. That's why I've got gloves on. I've never actually had a 10 ounce coin before. This has got tape on and with gloves on, it's going to be a pain to get off. So I'm just going to quickly get a knife. So the tape is broken now. So this should just open like that. And there's the coin there. But we actually have more tape on it. So I'll be back in a second. And then with that being open, the coin should just come out nice like that. If you watched my video a few days ago, you might remember I was actually looking for the 10 ounce line of England Tudor Beast silver coin, but I was looking for the prices for that and I actually found the Queen's Beast complete a 10 ounce silver coin available actually cheaper as well from Silver Trader. These have sold out already. He didn't have many of them available, but uh, yeah, it was obvious to go with this one for me. It's my favorite coin in my stack so far. It looks amazing. The detail on these 10 ounce coins really is excellent to be fair. Just to pop that down, I do have this in the one ounce gold coin and it was actually my first one ounce gold coin as well. I got it for the same premium as a normal Britannia it was on offer and I also have the two ounce silver version of the coin as well so it makes a nice little stack. I know you can get this in the one kilo bar, uh, sorry the one kilo coin. I have no plans at all to get the one kilo one. Here in the United Kingdom we have to pay 20% VAT on silver when we buy it and I really don't believe in the bull case for silver. I am more of a silver collector so I probably will max out at the 10 ounce coins for the but yeah just to get into some macro shots quickly so the actual order of the beasts on the reverse of the coin aren't in the same order that the coins were released chronologically I'm not sure why that is it seems a bit random and the Royal Mint could have missed a trick there but yeah I still love the detail on this coin it looks amazing the dragon and the phoenix look outstanding to be fair I like the lions and the yale as well they look really really good not too fussed about the other animals or the other beasts to be honest but yeah in general really really happy with this one thing that might bother some people about this coin it doesn't bother me is that the portrait of queen elizabeth ii is on both the reverse of the coin and the obverse of the coin. Personally, I truly don't care, but I know some people do have opinions on that. The obverse of the coin does have some micro dotting behind the queen, as you can see there. It's a minimal security feature, but it's still better than nothing in my opinion. It just adds more detail to the coin as well. I really like coins with a lot of detail on them. And then you can see here on the reverse of the coin, there's also micro dotting behind the queen's portrait there as well. And here's a shot with the 10 ounce silver coin, the two ounce silver coin, and the one ounce gold coin of them all together side by side. It looks excellent to be fair <laughs> and to be honest there is a little bit of me who does want to try and get the one kilo coin of this design just to finish the set but it just doesn't crunch the numbers for me to pick it up. I'd rather pick up gold with that money to be honest. So for this for the Queen's Beast Complete set it will be staying with these. If I find more two ounces I might pick those up. I made a video a few days ago about how in the UK stacking one ounce silver coins might is probably not the best option when we can get the queen's beast two ounces the queen's beast 10 ounces or the tudor beast two and 10 ounces as well where moving forward i am probably looking to stack those over the one ounce versions as well i absolutely love this gold coin it's the favorite from my current stack for the one ounces as well just to quickly show the edge of the coin and as you can see it is a reeded edge i personally don't care if it's reeded like the majority of coins or if it's smooth like the austrian philharmonic but just a short in the video i just had a quick look under the high powered light in to see if there's any milk spots on this coin or not I can't actually see any with the macro lens on the camera it might show some milk spots up but with the my actual eye I can't see any there are some marks on the capsule that make this look like it's milk spots on the coin but they are on the capsule I'm not sure if you can see it yeah you can kind of see the coin does come from the royal mint obviously so yeah I'm not sure if milk spots will develop in the future I really hope they don't I am already eyeing up my next 10 ounce silver coin it will be a dedicated video a bit of a story time i'm selling off a alternative asset class to buy gold and silver and a few other things so i'll make a dedicated video when i get the next 10 ouncer but yeah i really like these and i do plan to add one of these per Tudor Be Queen's Beast Tudor Beasts moving forward in addition to my Queen's Beast Completer. Just to quickly add the one ounce gold Queen's Beast Completer again and it, it's crazy to think that this tiny piece of metal here has a much larger value than all of this. Just to pop that there and bring this one back in for the two ounces and pop that 
there. And that brings the video to a close, guys. Hopefully it was helpful. It's the full point of my channel to track my stack and journey. A lot of the stuff I get, I don't unbox on video, but the, the unique stuff or the first stuff, like the first 10 ounce I will be doing on video. New silver in the stack. Happy with that. Have a good day, guys. Thanks for watching.